everybody musaki from the county guru sitting here once again with these lovely individuals here soberoni yo and justin i'd call us the three idiots but that name's already taken <laughs> <laughs> the three amigos the three, the three idiots, amigos uh, three musketeers I mean, the three amigops there we go we yeah. got it all right guys and yeah no if you've seen the title and the thumbnail you know what we're here to talk about we're here to talk about those guidelines i mean <laughs> we've all kind of had our own thoughts shared and everything else about what's going on but i feel like we've already talked about a whole bunch of other stuff going on in the fake grand owner community this is probably something we touch on it's not something we're not out here farming for clicks we literally have opinions we want to share them and discuss them and we feel like it'd be nice to share that with the community yeah and no you you oh, okay. i was gonna say um i haven't made a video on this but i people i think have seen the twitter post i made and i feel like i don't know i just i just want to get my thoughts out there this is a very i think it's one of the biggest issues we've had in fgo in a long while well maybe since the coin thing which wasn't that long ago but ignoring that a long while <laughs> right right what were you gonna say justin Oh, I was just gonna say, and dog, we ain't we ain't trying to doom post, honestly. Right. Like mm. I've I've had I've had accusations of doom posting in my video, and I'm like, no, like my decision I made was a decision I made for me, about mm -hmm. me. I have right. in no way, shape, or form attempted to just tell other people not to, you know, to come to the same conclusion that I have and not yeah. do those things, like. I've had people come to me and ask me for advice after hearing the news, but any any and all decisions that I have made regarding my own streaming and the things I want to do are my own and were influenced by more things other than this. Right. This is just the uh, the straw that broke the camel's back, as it yeah, were. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, we're already do we were already planning so the expansion of sorts, and this has kind of sped up that timeline for us. Just like you, so yeah, we're not fear mongering. Not the end. <laughs> FGO's like... ending tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Pull out your FGO no. stocks now. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Pretty sure. that. They're taking back all the. They're uh, asking you for all that money you spent on servants again. You yeah, twice. double. Yep, twice so, over the servant tax. <laughs> Yep, it's coming. But no, we're not doing anything like that. It's and there's never the intention, right? It's always just to spark a conversation and have a discussion as a community because if you don't ask questions, if you just don't come up, then companies will just yeah, that's right. They'll just give you anything to do <laughs> you know. Uh, so I mean, yeah, uh let's start Justin. Well, I know you made a video on it, but uh what are your overall thoughts with these guidelines? How do you think they um affect the community in the game? Yeah, I mean, overall, first, let me just let me just clear the air because mm -hmm. Plushy is the person who put all this stuff out there. I want to make sure everything that Plushy has wanted to clarify is muy clarificado. So mm -hmm. if you did not see uh, Plushy's um, clearing up, three major points from the clearing up. Uh, one, only one person they know personally who uses Japanese specifically to make their titles has been hit. So that probably led to the Autobots for lack of a better term, <laughs> finding that video and, out. you know, hitting them. Uh, two, this does not hit any platform outside of YouTube, as far as I know, so Twitch, TikTok, whatever, uh, those have not been hit. And three, this is technically not a thing on the NA side, and no guidelines have been posted on NA as of right now. So these are all three very important things for everyone watching this video to consider. These are things that Plushy did clear up. Now, whether or not you think these may not hit NA in the future is a completely different conversation, completely different discussion, right. completely different thing to think. But those are the three things that have been cleared up right now. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I've, I've got that out there. That was my intention. Yeah, for As sure. As for me personally to actually answer your question, uh, since I'm not a politician or anything like that, uh, the main reason I, you know, put out that video was because, for starters, my everyone on my channel deserves to know the decisions that I am going to make for the channel going forward, and they themselves have the right to decide if they want to continue watching me after that. Now, mm -hmm. for those that don't know, I have decided to stop um, solely focusing on FGO as my main game, partially mm -hmm. to, you know, just, you know, be ready in case these guidelines spread to NA. That was part of my decision. 
But the other part of my decision I was making, as I explained in my video, is, you know, starting to make videos on the game has honestly kind of felt like work in some ways. Um, a lot of people are starting to seem like they're, you know, getting mad when content about the game has been posted that might be in any way spoilery, as we saw about some referencing with yeah. ordeal call stuff that NA creators have been doing. So, you know, having comments like that has also, you know, fueled that motion. Even if you put spoiler in the video, it doesn't really seem to matter. Mm -hmm. And I just, um, I just want to, I want to branch out and try other things. I mean, I think that's ultimately every YouTuber's end goal is to just push out and actually be able to focus on a bunch of different games, focus on things that really enjoy, you enjoy, excite you, you're passionate about. So I really wanted to go ahead and just push more into that. Wanted to play more fighting games, super excited for Sparking Zero, want to make some longer form video essays, maybe not quite on Pyrocynical eight hour level, but... <laughs> I mean, you know, just something in there. I've got a Final Fantasy 16 video I really wanted to make. Oh. So um, just really wanted to, you know, start focusing on the multitude of games that catch my interest rather than just a single thing. Just when these content guidelines got released, I just came to the conclusion, like, you know, I've been waffling on this for a while. I might as well just go ahead and get it done. Oh. So, yeah, that's it, that's my general thought. I wanted to respond to that too as I saw the video. It seemed like it was a decision that while you had accepted it, it was one that you're maybe potentially a little nervous about saying. But it was, uh, nah, you you were, yeah, I can tell. I can tell. It, it is like, it's okay because the thing is, you make good content regardless. So whatever game you decide to make content for, it's going to be a good video because that's the type of person you are. Um, I've been watching your videos that. for a while. No problem. Watch your videos for a while. So, like, it's, yeah, it's, it's always fun. just difficult to walk away from what you know you know yep. it's always difficult to know what you have an established audience for you know the main thing that people come to your channel for and it's always just a hard decision to decide to walk away from it because you personally don't enjoy making videos for it as much anymore but i mean mm -hmm. thinking back to the maximilian dude school of content creation you should always make something that you yourself enjoy and you yourself would want to watch so this exactly. is just going to be the truest way to follow that right 100 percent agreed mm -hmm. uh owning like i said you didn't have a video for you no this, so but i just had a yeah, ranty tweet ahead. um so basically yeah I, I'm, I'm kind of in the same line uh as justin here i'm also going to so my videos, as far as spotlights and stuff are concerned, I'll still put those out. We'll see if those get striked because I do use JP gameplay. Yeah. So I'll be the first to let you guys know if I get striked, all right? <laughs> all right. <laughs> but um, as far as streaming goes, I just, I don't feel, I guess, what's the word I want to look for? I don't feel incentivized to play JP or even NA right now at this point. Um, so I do want to branch out as far as streaming is concerned. Um, I'm going to start streaming a lot more of Hoyo stuff, a lot more Pokemon TCG, which is, I'm enjoying a lot, uh, Monster Hunter Wilds, when that comes out and beyond that, mm, yeah. it's just, it's just a lot of fun to, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, it, it does get tough, you know, making videos for the same game over and over. It does eventually take its toll. I know a lot of people get upset when I miss spotlights or something, but it happens. Right. And I think this whole snafu with the you know, regulation and the guidelines it has just kind of highlighted that for a lot of content creators. Like it's, it's a slap on the face in the face of something that's already been building up in the community. And it's that sentiment that people that, you know, Losangol or Anaplex just doesn't really care that much, especially about NA content creators or the NA market as much. Um, I'm really hoping that this guideline doesn't make its way to the na side of things because if you know and if lost belt 7 drops and they suddenly update the guidelines and say by the way you can't stream lost belt 7 for two years or something that's really that kills everything <laughs> yeah that's, that's a that's a damper um but yeah it's just one of those things i i'm not gonna hide my opinion on it and be like well it's okay don't worry about it because it does suck it really sucks a yes. lot I was just mentioning to you guys I was playing Radio Call 3. Like, the first time I got to, to actually want to stream story um, in JP for a long time. And I'm like, oh, yes, let's stream Radio Call 3. And then, of course, immediately, guidelines change. You can't stream that anymore. <laughs> so, it just it just <clears throat> sucks.
I feel that. I feel that. That was well said there. That you, yep, I know, man. Dude, he's spitting over there. Dang cough. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, that, make, that makes a lot of sense, uh, for sure. I know that as of now, they haven't said that outside of YouTube it'll be hit, but people have to understand, too, that when a company, especially something as big as Anaplex, a single, who's backed by Sony, just puts in, okay, well, the entirety of the Fake Great Order music library we're going to put in this bot, and we are going to just take down anything that has this music playing, no matter what. And, Oni, I'm pretty sure you remember, once upon a time, Sony was on their bullshit. Yeah. And, and, and they uh, took down, they struck and copyright claimed your stuff, some of my stuff, Kita Sean's stuff. It, it happened. So... For me, when I saw these guidelines and I said they're going to be doing stuff like that again, I, I did get a strike on my channel for for them. Like so, I for me is not fear mongering. For me, it's I've literally been <laughs> struck by them because oh well, you can't do this anymore, type of thing. And we put, we put a lot of effort into our videos. All of us do, but the, you know I, we do skits on our yeah on our on our channel and. We use assets from the game. How does that affect that? Does it stop at the, the sprites? Can we use the backgrounds? Can we not even talk about or make stories about that stuff anymore? Like you better not show any bonsies. No bonsies for special moments. No CGs from mm -hmm. those things. So like for for the channel specifically, it really hits us because our main niche is the skits um and i get it it's like they have us basically say like servers are okay but it's i feel like it's a gray area because we have a servant like Hokul khan mm -hmm. that technically is <laughs> a major part of lost Bell seven right and a spoiler so can i talk about them i was when this guideline <laughs> stuff blew up i was going to do a um on the stream i was going to do a top 10 servants you guys should roll for say for the next year, I was like, I don't think I can do that anymore. <laughs> Good point. I, I, damn, I have that on my video list of things to do, too. I can't. I gotta yeah. push that back now. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, I, I I came up with it for a while ago, and I was like, you know what? I'll just do it on stream, and I'll make that into a video, and we'll go from that. Like, I don't think I can. Mm -hmm. uh, all the servants are spoiler-ish, and all, they're from events, yeah, but those events are after Fuyuki. And that's per the guidelines. You can't show that. Mm -hmm. so... Yeah, I mean, I I agree with uh, Kita in that summoning videos are probably going to be exempt and definitely going to be fine. I mean, it straight up says that in the guidelines. Yes. Yes. But until those characters are summonable, it kind of, um, if you're covering JP content, sort of puts a wrench in your plans. Because yes. if you're like, okay, I want to put out a video about... Um, Google Khan, but it hasn't passed the timeline yet for you to be able to post about that Lost Belt, even though she's about to come out on NA, you still can't technically do that. Mm -hmm. No, you would have to wait until then. And like even now, like the the timelines, like October October first is or today, depending on when this comes out, uh, will be when people can talk about Lost Belt five. Oh, thank God. Finally. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. <laughs> the story is now for two years. I've been holding it in this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, you know, uh, Lost Ball 6 and on, and Lost Ball 6 will be for November 1st, and Lost Ball 7 is uh, December 1st. So, like, I'm aware that they're slowly making adjustments to these things, but I feel like just even having any sort of limitation, especially in the way that they brought it out, is problematic. And I'm aware, too, that August, like around the anniversary time, these guidelines came out. I'm aware of that. Um, but at the time, no one had talks of being hit by anything. Like, mm -hmm. people put these guidelines out, but no one's been no one's been struck or no one's been copyright claimed or anything, so we're fine. So now that there's news that, that people are getting hit, now that's a concern. I feel like that's something that content creators got to decide. Yeah. Like, like, everyone here, like, do you want to just keep going with your content? Do you want to change up your content? Um, do you want to just do something else? That's something fine. And I feel like it's okay to have that conversation. Um, you know, I, I don't know. It's just, I just, uh, I don't like the conversation getting, you know, shut down. Like people are yes. allowed to, you know, make these decisions with their channels, mm -hmm. especially when there's, um, concerning stuff in there to the point of the level of, uh, 
you know, sound and music and all that. I don't know mm. if um, I don't know if y'all remember a Anaplex related gacha game called Magia Record. I do. But mm. when Magia Record was out, um, they were straight up anything that had sound. Period. The Autobots were going and flagging it and sending up copyright strikes and taking it down. I think a lot of people misunderstand uh, from a YouTube standpoint, thinking that there are going to be people that actually, you know, are initially looking at your content and specifically seeing if it fits those guidelines. That is not usually the case. Usually mm -hmm. when one of us ends up getting a video flagged for any sort of reason is because a pre-programmed bot has decided to flag that. And then when we actually go through the appeals process to, you know, get that taken care of, uh, that's when that ends up going to an actual person most of the time. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if anyone here watches Lythero's videos, incredible animations, tons of stuff, but Lythero routinely posts like, hey, you know, I've been tiptoeing around your guidelines, YouTube, to try and, you know, make sure these things don't get flagged. But then you're going in and your Autobot is finding one thing and flagging it. You had already told me in a previous dispute on something else I did that these things were fine, but the Autobot still flagged it. So I right. need you to go ahead and look at it. And if it limits your video in any sort of way, that, that really, really hurts in terms of wanting yeah. to get your stuff out there to people. It is, is not usually people who are taking the first look at these things. And that's mm -hmm. what's mainly concerning. Yes. Yeah, and if, if they're striking channels, that's like a really big deal. It's not simply like a claim or something like that. If you get striked, that, that limits your ability to upload and stream and all those other things. So it's not even like a, well, here's a warning type of thing. It's once you get struck, <laughs> you're kind of screwed for a while. Yes, it's it's stuck around for a few months. Mm -hmm. Um, and then if you get three, your channel's gone. Yeah, it's just gone so forever. Not, there you go. I'm I'm not a, as I said on uh, the video, I'm not willing to tether like weeks, months of hard work into a video to then just all of a sudden a bot comes and just nukes it, and it's just like, well, now I can't do anything. So you know, just like everyone else, I'll be exploring other things. Uh, streaming wise for FGO, we'll see. I don't think I'll be incentivized to do too much of it if i do it'll be like i'll be playing it safe and only really doing it for stuff that i truly really care about but you know I, i'm not gonna completely abandon fate i don't want people to think that like no no, no. we're, we're, I we're love done fate. with it i love fate as a whole it's like samurai remnant extra record even some fgo stuff i, I will cover right but uh it's not going to be solely FGO. It's going to be there's other games out there, other gotchas out there. That I do think will deserve some attention, especially some newer stuff that's coming out. Um, I want to be able to get in on that and maybe make some different content, not just the typical, hey, it's a guide, but like uh, first impressions, some just playing, enjoying the game, stuff like that. You know, so, back like two or three years ago when Uma Musume first came out in JP, I didn't make the joke, you know, when Uma Musume drops in NA, we're going to be an Uma Musume channel. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the I stars are aligning, man. <laughs> I play JP right now. <laughs> I, I'm so true. <laughs> Prophecies <laughs> coming true. We might have to do a Musume channel. GNA and GNA and you. Game and anime and Uber. Oh, man. Horse racing in its purest form. Yes. It, it, it the is. perfect form of horse racing. So great! <laughs> like half the team now plays Uma. Like unironically. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get my father to play. He he doesn't like anime or anything, but he loves horse racing and betting. So I'm like, listen, yeah. dad, this will connect us in a way. <laughs> it's surprisingly how it like feels like a horse race. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. So that's uh, yeah. One other thing I do want to say is if you are if you are a another content creator out there who, you know, still wants to continue to make stuff on fate, please do so. I mean, if any of the thing we things we brought up here are concerning to you, you know, let let us know down below or anything like that, but I don't want I don't want my personal decision I am making for myself to stop other people from playing like fgo or streaming fgo i don't want to start a cascade of doom posting anything like that so please if uh if 
if you've listened to the stuff here and you've decided that maybe you don't want to risk it, make that entirely your decision. But don't just make decisions because I have made this decision or Moo has made this decision or Oni has made this decision. Agreed. That Same. Awesome. Agreed. It's all, it's all up to you guys on what you want to do. Um, FGO's an old game. has been seen quite a few content creators <laughs> in his day. Some people have come, some people have gone. <sighs> for better or for worse. So yeah, some, some infamy, <laughs> some... <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, Fate Grand Order is not going anywhere anytime soon. Um, do I agree with a lot of decisions Lysangle has made? No. Do I think it can last and last impacts? Yes. But if you care about fake Grand Order, you want to make content about it, continue to do so. It's fine. Do what you got to do. Um, but just our content might change. Mm -hmm. You know? Might, and change isn't a bad thing. Change is a good thing. As, um, I mean, it shows that we're growing. And I'm sure I can speak for each one of us and that we hope our community supports what we do. And, uh, even though it's not just FGO anymore, that you still stick around and watch our stuff. Yeah. We love you guys. Mm, we do. Honestly, we wouldn't be talking about any of these <laughs> things if we didn't care. <laughs> like, yeah. literally. I, would, I could literally be asleep right now, and I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I care. <laughs> right. Like, if we really didn't care about Fate or, or Fate Grand Order or anything, we'd just be like, eh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we have opinions. I feel like it's best to share them, especially... In the landscape where some where some gaming companies who aren't listening are suffering, and the ones that are listening are are thriving, and I think that's important. Look at my custom card sleeves. I give a shit. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> right? I care. You you can't see, but I have a bunch of Neros and Sabers on that shelf behind me. Okita alters. <laughs> Hold on. Wait. <laughs> Whole Okita shelf of alters right here. <laughs> Birthday gift, by the way. <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, let us know in the comments below what you think. Uh, we see it on Twitter, definitely, you know, share it around. The discussion is worth having. I mean, I'm for one, I'm good uh, with this. I don't think it'll be something I'll be harping back on. You guys know the opinion that people ask. I'm just going to link back to these series of videos. And the comments <laughs> will be mine, it'll be Justin's, and I'll probably I'll link to GNA's tweet as well. So you guys just. Those are where the opinions live. If you want to go, you can go there. Um, the yeah, YouTube. No, this, is it. this is the last bit. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. I'm not addressing this again. I yeah. yeah. Like we're, we're done. That is that. No more. Uh, I'm not. I refuse to beef with anyone about this. So if you wanna, if you wanna mm -hmm. start a beef, um, I had something clever. <laughs> uh, I'm a. Then I'm a vegetarian and I'm not scared of you. <laughs> oh, I get it. If you, if you want beef, I want chicken. So let's go. I'm a pork to guy. Jollibee. <laughs> hey, look, some pork belly is really good. Oh, God, please. I would go <laughs> for some pork belly right now. Uh, no one understood my 303 reference. I'm done. <laughs> Sorry. I did. I did. <laughs> it flew right over my head. Uh, uh, but yeah, no. Uh, GNA, do you have any. Any last words as well? I'm uh, pretty much just oh. echoing you guys. I I just want this part of the debate to be closed. We got our feelings yeah. out there. Um, mm -hmm. Like Justin said, don't let this, don't let our opinions necessarily become your opinions. Read up on the issue, see what we said, make your own informed mm -hmm. decisions. If you are a content creator that's making FGO content, feel free to keep making FGO content if that's what you want to do. We'll, we're going to do it as well. We're just going to be very selective about it. Right. Um, we still love the game. We still love you guys. Nothing but peace and love and good vibes, all right? We're no a good community. Attacks. One of the best yeah. things about FGO is the community. Let's keep it that way. Exactly. It's not, yeah, it's <laughs> no, not the no. Star Wars community. Damn <laughs> yeah, we will not devolve, oh, God. damn it. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not sling mud. It's not throw rocks or anything like that. Um, even, even if other content creators disagree, know that there's no hate. Mm -hmm. at all like we just you know we're just spreading uh spreading love and we can have difference of opinions and still be friends that's right set up yes <laughs> imagine that all right um but uh good. you're all good too i think we're good all right we're Let's all good it. that's all right so guys look comments down below and of course my name is musaki and i'm sitting here with Sony Oni. and justin Kawaii Fado. And we'll see you in the next one.
Bye-bye.